Good morning, and welcome to Catholicity with Mr. Norino at home for Thursday, March 26th, 2020. Um, our focus today is going to be on praying the rosary. Yesterday, we chatted very briefly about the fact that uh, it is one of the most important prayers that we as Catholics can say. And yesterday, you might have uh, had a live video pop up at about noon central time where I just basically went on camera and prayed the Our Father. And that was per the request of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Every person with the ability and the timing to pray at their noon throughout the world in, in our, our time zone intervals uh, was asked to do so. So I, I hopped on there and I prayed the Our Father and I'm hoping that some of us, uh, some of you joined me yesterday. There is another um, papal request coming tomorrow on Friday, March the 27th at, uh, it, it actually boils down to noon central time. Uh, I believe it's 6 p.m. at the Vatican. Uh, there will be a, a streamed uh, blessing from the Holy Father for all of us. So uh, we'll share that as well uh, in addition to tomorrow's episode, which will feature Mrs. Miller from St. Joseph's School. So um, really looking forward to that, talking with Mrs. Miller about some of the readings that we've got for tomorrow. But that's all tomorrow. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the rosary. And the physical rosary... You might have one that looks very different. Mine is quite small. Uh, it's from my grandmother, and it uh, it actually comes from, from the Vatican from a long, long time ago. And I believe this is the one that she actually had blessed by St. Pope John Paul II. And if it isn't, then I'll be embarrassed, but I'm, I'm almost positive that it is. So the structure of the rosary is basically a, a string of beads, and the ring is intersected here by, uh, d depending on the type of rosary you have, by a, a, a small ornamentation and then some more beads that go down to a crucifix. Now you might have a St. Patrick's rosary that would have a St. Patrick uh, Celtic cross, which some of those are very, very beautiful. And just as we're mentioning St. Patrick's, I want to take a moment to give a huge shout out to uh, Mr. Rick Gertz, who is a uh, parishioner at St. Patrick's uh, Church in Atacokan and who frequents the school on the regular to say the rosary with many, many students who join him on lunch hours. So thank you very much uh, from all of us, Mr. Gertz. Um, today we are going to be saying uh, just a part of the rosary, we'll probably do a couple of decades because it is something that is kind of a personal thing for all of us and, and if you're going to pray it with us it'll be personal for you too and it's it's an opportunity for you to meditate on each of the repeated prayers as we go through all of the prayers which fill out all of the decades of the rosary. Now when I say decade we know that decade uh, in the uh, current sense is, is used to explain 10 years and so a decade is 10 prayers. So we've got 10 beads here and those 10 beads correspond to 10 Hail Marys that you'd say going through the entire circuit of prayers. So we start on the crucifix and we work up and then we go around and then we come back and you can see from this diagram here kind of the order that you go in and it's, uh, it's actually a, a really handy little um, graphic resource for you and also there is a link in the description of this video that'll bring you to the rosarycenter.org and specifically for the novena and the special mass rosaries that we are praying this week specifically to the Blessed Virgin Mary and to St. Joseph. Also, when I say the word novena, that is a special set of prayers for something very specific. And there is a novena that is happening right now, all week, and possibly further for as, as a response to the, pe the global pandemic that we are currently facing together. So I, I just want to uh, read a little bit from that to you. 
And this, this comes from the Catechism of the Catholic Church, and if you, if you haven't read parts of that before, it's, it's a list of rules for our church, and a, and a list of beliefs and, and theological explanations of things that we do in the Roman Catholic Church. And this actually comes from the uh, entry at 2673. In prayer, the Holy Spirit unites us to the person of the only Son, in his glorified humanity, through which and in which our filial prayer unites us in the church with the mother of Jesus. So this novena will be offered for peace and freedom from anxiety, which a lot of us are facing right now, protection from COVID-19, for victims living and deceased of the virus and their families, healthcare workers, those working on treatments for the virus, those suffering economic hardship caused by the virus, civil and religious leaders that they make wise and prudent decisions, rosary confraternity members living and deceased, as well as the many intentions received through the rosary center and those held within the hearts of those all those who are practicing in this novena. And you can actually virtually add your intentions on the website down below. There's there's one link today. Yesterday there were a few, but today it's just the one. And you can add your intentions before you start praying the rosary on your own or with me. Maybe I'll just be a springboard for you today and then you keep on going. So uh, Father Joseph Surjot, uh, OP, the director of the Rosary Center and the promoter of the Confraternity in the West will celebrate a special Mass each day for those intentions and for your intentions. So as we add, he prays with our intentions through him uh, to our Holy Mother. He also invites bishops and priests to join the Novena by celebrating Mass in their private chapels. So one thing that you might not know is that even if there isn't Mass, even if there is um, Father Nunzo and Father Bijou traveling together to a conference and there is no Mass scheduled at either of their churches that day, they'll stop and they'll say Mass together. And it's the whole Mass with the Eucharist, with the readings, with the Eucharistic prayer and the great Amen, it's all part of the daily life of every priest in the world. So they, they might say it in their private chapel, they might say it, pull over on the side of the road and just kind of get out and, and do their thing together. It's really a beautiful thing that uh, every day there is a Mass being said by every priest who is physically able to do it. So how can you participate in this Novena? Well, we ask you to participate fully in the Novena by making a spiritual communion each day during the Novena and by praying the Rosary each day during the Novena. And here is our spiritual communion prayer before we start today. And uh, this comes from St. Alphonse Liguori. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. All right, so... We pray the rosary, starting at the crucifix, working our way up, and then traveling clockwise all the way through from the ornamentation at the intersection. So we're going to make the sign of our cross. Here, here's actually just a, uh, a little guideline. Again, this is the way that we're going to go. The luminous mysteries are as follows. The first luminous mystery is the baptism of our Lord. And then we do the entire string of beads with the, uh, the accompanying prayers. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God and the call to conversion. The fourth luminous mystery, the transfiguration. And the fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Eucharist. Closing prayers after we've said all of those mysteries Hail Holy Queen, our final prayer, and the sign of the cross. So, we hold fast on our crucifix. 
And we start with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our next bead, we say the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Three beads, each a Hail Mary. For faith, hope, and charity. The first one is for our faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The glory be is our next bead on this string. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and never shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first luminous mystery, the baptism of of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in need of thy mercy. Amen. And that's our first luminous mystery. Praying through our mother, acknowledging the baptism of our Lord. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Another decade of Hail Mary's 
to the glory be, to the oh my Jesus, and around and around and around and around through all of the decades until we get through all five of our luminous mysteries. And all those links for the different types of mysteries that we pray meditating through are on this page as well, and our closing prayer. So we will imagine that we made it through all of our mysteries, all of our decades, and our closing prayer, the Hail Holy Queen, and our final prayer. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb. Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. Final prayer. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining us to learn a little bit more about the Rosary. Tomorrow, noon, a message from our Holy Father, a blessing from the Vatican. Our episode tomorrow, featuring the readings once again, and joining us, Mrs. Miller. Very excited about that. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow.